Yes, good morning, Jessica. Hello, I'm going to start getting set up and get some of the equipment out, but uh, we will let you know when we have any questions. Do you have anything for us before we start off? And just a little quick thing is you're going to be harvesting both veggies, approximately half the leaves from each plant. My role during the on over harvest is to talk to astronauts and uh, helping them out and thinking ahead for them so it's, and saving them that valuable crew time. And uh, we can help them, guide them through the written procedures. And if there's any anomalies that come up, we can help them work through that while um, uh, during real time ops. Again, you're gonna be um, weighing the leaves once you cut them, splitting the leaves up between science and then um, consumption and then weighing the leaves that you're gonna consume in the MMD, so there's plenty of work for both of you to do. They're following a procedure that we write for them to do the activity, and it's maybe the first time they've seen that procedure. We just wanted to confirm that we need to weigh the uh, samples that we clip off before we put them in foil? That's negative, we weigh them on the ground. But right now, particularly for Vegel 4B, we're planting the seeds here and then packing them for flights. Then when the astronauts take out those pillows from stowage and insert them into the veggie units, just add water to it and it'll start growing. Is it water back with three measurements each? Copy all, Drew. Thank you very much. We'll look at them up. Hopefully everything's going pretty well. It looks good. It's a little bit slow, get going until about two weeks in. And then at two weeks, it picks up growth and we just see it burst to life. And we take it all the way until about four weeks when we do our first harvest and we cut it back to where we have just these small leaves left and then it starts all over where it continues to pick up growth and we take that to our next harvest. We'll be going into the Ziploc bag and being weighed, is that, is that correct? Um, half of them will go into the foil and then half of them will go into the Ziploc. She may need to cut off a couple more on that number six. There's a there's a larger right leaf that's like that's that's coming right for right. us. Yeah, she's not she's okay to cut off the medium sized ones as well. Let's uh, let's let her finish. Number five. I just don't also I don't want her to get so far that then she can't get samples put back where they need to go into the right containers. So the astronauts will come in and for a cut and come again harvest, they will take off the majority of our leaves. They'll leave behind just the smallest, youngest leaves to continue growing until we come back in in a couple of weeks to do our next cut and come again harvest. So we're looking at how are different nutrients varying across these light treatments because the longer we go through space, the more we're really concentrating on providing high nutrient crops to our astronauts. Um, and they're gonna call down weights from the MMD measurements. So they're going to call out three late weights for each plant, you know, plant. Yeah, so we can all compare notes and make sure we heard everything right. Yeah, okay. And then the other half of the crops that they've been harvesting from each pillow, they will sanitize on orbit. They weigh them in the mass measurement device, so we actually can find out how much those leaves weigh in microgravity, which is a new wonderful tool that we have. Then put these plant samples inside a little Ziploc bag, and then the astronauts will then consume those leaves as part of a taste test, and if they have any left over, they can have it with dinner. Copy, thumbs up, and the plants look great, Jessica. Good job. This year, our final harvest for Vegel 4B is on Thanksgiving, um, so the astronauts will be enjoying their food. They're away from their families. We'll be in here supporting them away from our families, so it's, uh, it's a little bit of a, if you will, a NASA space family having, you know, harvesting a part of their meal together. They look really good this time. This is the best one we've had.